And I think that all of us are under the delusion that we can hide who we are from people, but I think that everything is in their faces. Every face tells a story, and for decades, Carol Wiley has been painting those stories. Three years ago, the painter attended this Holocaust memorial service. The story of an 88-year-old survivor triggered a sense of urgency to capture more stories on canvas. I was so moved by it, and I'm of Jewish heritage myself, and thought that I, these Holocaust survivors are aging and within another decade or so there probably won't be any of them left and those first-hand experiences will be lost. She began to paint Holocaust survivors across Canada. They shared their stories with her as some have done publicly before. My humanity, my name as a human being erased. Robbie Wiseman was sent to a concentration camp when he was 13. Life afterwards became a struggle. We had to learn how to laugh and how to cry. We didn't know how. We were so dehumanized. Not long after Wiley began her project, she was offered Indigenous awareness training at her Saskatoon workplace. She learned how an estimated 150,000 children had been taken from their parents and placed in Indian residential schools. The intent was assimilation, not annihilation, but still Wiley was struck by some of the similarities between survivors. They cut hair when they entered the residential schools and the, the concentration camps, their hair was cut, they were assigned numbers, and there was all, these are all methods of othering and dehumanizing people. So this is uh, Louise. So she decided to expand her project. And then this is Eugene Arcand. Cree elder Eugene Arcand was sexually abused in residential school and lived in shame for decades. Arcand recently shared his story alongside a Holocaust survivor, a joint effort to educate young people. But he worries history is too easily dismissed. He applauds Wiley for confronting the horrors of the past and legacies of pain. Courageous woman to do what she's done here and accept the truth. Stop avoiding the truth. Wiley has painted 18 portraits, half from each group. Sadly, as she feared, a couple have already passed away, including Holocaust survivor Bill Gleed. Those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. But she's hopeful the portraits and lessons will live on. If we can build some compassion that way to understand that every person feels pain the way that we do, maybe as a, as a society or as a human race, we will be a little more reluctant to inflict that kind of suffering. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.